A local business in operation for more than five decades is reduced to rubble in a matter of minutes. The owner of this Fall River Laundry Company was awakened early this morning by one of his employees telling him his building was up in flames. Tonight, he tells Eyewitness News he will rebuild. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson joins us now with more from the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom. A day ago, this was a fully operational facility. Now, the Latender Laundry Company has been reduced to rubble after an early morning fire. It was all fire in there. So Henry Latender was awakened by an employee at about 5 o'clock Monday morning, shocking him with the news that his industrial laundry facility next door was on fire. This thing was flames way up in the air. The whole building took off. He called 911. The Fall River Fire Department showed up minutes later and were able to control the blaze, but not before the North Main Street building was completely destroyed. It was tough to watch the place he built 50 years ago burn to the ground, but Latender says he won't let it get him down. Everybody thinks they should be crying and kicking and laying. I take things as they come and that's it. There's nothing I can do about it. Other buildings in the area were threatened and five people had to be evacuated from their homes, including neighbor Pat Costa. Her photos show the scene. I saw the roof paving in from my house. I don't even know where I was, but that, I mean, it went down like... It just can't, and thank God it went in instead of all over like my property down here. But, I mean, it was scary. Investigators are still trying to find out the cause of the fire. In the meantime, Latender already has plans to rebuild his laundry company. I'll be back. You'll be back? You better believe it. I'm only 83. I've got a few years yet, for Christ's sake, what do you think? <laughs> and Mr. Latender says he plans to rebuild his new laundry facility in the exact same place where the old one burned to the ground. With the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.